Welcome back. Let's punch into the lost spatula. This guy, does this actually work on him? No. Do I have to use bubbles or something? How do I hurt him? <laughs> Hi, how do I hurt you? Okay, contact damage. It's not earned by avoiding that. Can't stand up here. So let's take damage up here. At least that particular item doesn't work. The patties work? You don't think that'd be it, since I have another amount of those. No. Good timing. It's a really slow jump. SpongeBob has way too much. Jeez. It's not just press jump button when you want to jump. You need to press jump button at a very at a much earlier time than that. So that seems to work. I only have so many patties though. Ugh. I find it a lot tougher than it should. Okay, so I don't have to wait for him to move though, I can just do it kind of immediately. Oh. I oh, can kind of dodge it or something sometimes. Oh my god. We're making progress, we're making progress. Don't fret. Cheap to fight out. It's fine. So now he can't hurt me. So I just hit get him when there. He won't touch me. Yeah, so this, I'm, this isn't exactly a speedrun tactic, but it seems like a consistent way of getting through it. So I'm down here, he won't do anything to me. We can just dance. Oh, he gave it a good try that time. Beautiful. And I found the hat. I'm guessing it's for completing the extra boss. Or the, I don't know, higher version of the boss, whatever it was. So I might have to find like alternate versions of the bosses to, to get the extra items or something like that. As a guess? I'm actually going to leave when it gives me an opportunity to leave this time. Interesting. So let's see what Sandy has to say to that. If I go all the way to the left, it doesn't work. Alright. I can't activate the door. Could you not? Did I just work on, on ball bass type enemies? Yeah. Oh, there really only stuns them I found. The Bob Lock. Yeah. Patrick still needs pants. Sandy. I hate how you I go to the left and then I need to go work to the right again to progress. Okay, that's a nice pound in the background there. There we go. So you get things for it. Wait, but I already had that. <laughs> Wait! Game! Can I hold more or something now? Oh, I can! Okay, never mind. 
Oh, there you go. So I get upgrades for it. I still don't know where to get this down here. Because I think it's, I know I've gotten it before. I, it's not like I've completed the game before or anything like that. I have no idea where I got it. Okay. We'll just keep on moving. But that will make life easier. Without a doubt. I know I do have other character. Well, so. I imagine that completing the Krusty Krab, whatever, will give me infinite patties. So then maybe finding. I don't know what I could possibly get from Patrick. I don't. My infinite patties honestly doesn't seem that useful. So I think I should do stuff for Patrick next. Stop that. So that's a safe way of getting enemy, rid of enemies, which is nice. I want to see real quick though, since I was kind of suspicious, if there's anything fun to do here with... With the springs. If there's any place you can reach you can't reach otherwise. I have a feeling there isn't, but the thought's just been on my mind. I don't think so. Okay. In that case, I think we'll go to... I think we'll get to the patch next. Meaning the carnival. It's a weird palette for a carnival. Doesn't look like a carnival to me. I mean, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman also had a carnival, but it actually looked like a carnival. I go left to right here. This seems like to be rock bottom themed, actually, which is a weird idea. Or something like that? I really cannot tell. Look at that. See, these guys look vaguely rock bottom ish. annoying that you can go to the left or right. I just want to get an idea of what this place is first. So is there, as far as I can tell, it seems to expand in every direction so far, except for down. I don't know where it ends upwards, I don't know where it ends leftwards, I don't know where it ends rightwards. I guess I just need to actually progress. So I guess I'll just keep going left for a while. Beautiful. So at least it works on those guys too. Seems like it's gonna work on most enemies here. This is on most, but still. That'll make my life a lot easier. Patties. So I guess we're looking for some kind of, like, secret exit to this area. Can I get rid of you that way? No, I can't. Darn it. I don't know how this is a carnival, by the way. Uh, that is absolutely terrible. I have to platform like that? How in the world? Unless you just move up and down. It's also possible, I guess. Doesn't make it not terrible, but it makes it a bit less terrible. Signs actually tell me to go this way. Those look like signs. They look like right left arrows to me. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing in the slightest. It's almost time to end off this sitting of game, too. I have about five minutes, so I don't imagine we're gonna see much more either today. Ah. Okay. So it seems to be a primarily vertical area, I guess. I go upwards. 
And there's some left and right to see as well. Should just start low. Just export everything on the lowest level and then go from there. Up, it says. Interesting. So I know now, to, now though that if everything follows the same formula, which isn't a given, but probably does, that most likely there are two ends to this area, and I don't need to worry too much about finding any secrets or anything, or exploring fully, until I get to the end. To, write, to fight the secret version of the boss, or whatever it is. I guess I need to catch a thing with my net. And this should be there are arrows that seem to lead me to work to go somewhere in this place, though. So many to go places. These ones seem to. Oh, these ones do stuff. So it also tends to walk further than you want to do, which is really awkward. This is nerve wracking. Okay, so we see. We actually want to go to the right here. Probably gonna forget this a week from now when I continue this, but this is what it is. Shortcut place or any um, respawn place. Fortunately, the game was nice enough to actually give me that. Interestingly, because I backtracked specifically. What if I go up here? Lots of exploration in this game. I have a feeling I'm supposed to get up here from somewhere else, though. So that says up. Oh, that's interesting. Did I ride this upwards or something? Yes, I do. Excuse me? So that's a net. So if I actually go all the way up here, I die. Interesting. So I want to go up, but not too much higher. I guess this is just what Patrick thinks a carnival is, but in reality it's actually a bunch of people fishing. I guess that's the joke. Uh, it's like Sako 6, you... Well, it's like, it has a 50% chance of being like Sonic 06 is really how it is. So, sometimes you'll have way, you'll maintain your momentum way more than you want to, and you'll keep on moving and you, when you don't want to keep moving. Other times, though, what happens instead is you don't keep your momentum. And then you don't jump as far as you think you will. Having to jump on really small platforms is terrible here, though, by the way. In case you hadn't noticed. It helps me do things like this so you don't actually have to move as you jump. Or they give you big things to stand on like that. Even even big things to stand on is not enough a lot of the time. There you go, I thought this thing came down here. Kind of I managed to prove it earlier. 
So I'm gonna go here now. Is there that one sign said go up? Was that just to mess me up or what? So I just died if I did that. most of this area, I think. Dude, leave me alone. I'm really not sure now. Okay, so left. What is there to the left, though? I actually managed to finally consistently start using the items menu correctly. Which is nice. Oh, jeez. So I think what I have to do is I need to... What? I can't stand on that. Get up there. My god. Get to where I was, and... There's a something to ride upwards there, it seems like. I figure I can end this episode by getting over there. So I'm just to come down here. Which is a little strange. So this works is, think of this as like a, a grid that's two blocks wide and three blocks tall. That's actually how it navigates. So if I press right here, I go to the right. If I press down here, I go here. If I press right here, I actually go to the other side. But here you would think if you press left or right, you might go up. But no, you don't. That keeps tripping me up. Okay. So what you have to do here is you have to do... Something like that, almost. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut here then, because that's gonna be too much of an ordeal in its own right. Quick, tight platforming. That is not what this game should have. But I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when... I think I'll just start out up here, before the jump, and we'll figure things out from there. Is that me back? Yes, he is, of course he is. This game doesn't have enough memory for enemies to stay gone. Okay. Alright, bye everyone.